So today's video, I decided to do a chit chat, get ready with me, just to catch you guys up on my life and why I've been gone for so long. So if you guys are interested in catching up and learning why I've been gone for so long, then keep watching. My goodness, you guys, it has been a minute since I actually had the time to film so today i'm actually going out for dinner with one of my closest friends i actually consider her one of my best friends this is her bridesmaid dinner she hasn't necessarily asked me to be a bridesmaid but she mentioned that it was her bridesmaid dinner so i'm assuming this is when she's going to be asking all of us and it's an opportunity for all of us to kind of meet each other whoever is part of her wedding party Anyway, that's the reason why I am actually getting ready today and then I decided to film a video because I had to apply makeup anyway, may as well film and videos like this you don't really have to think about. But anyway, the reason why I've been gone for quite some time is because if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs you guys would know that i was pregnant and i finally gave birth my daughter actually came a few weeks early she was born at 36 weeks old we did end up staying in the hospital a few days longer just because i had a c-section and then my daughter had jaundice her having jaundice actually wasn't too much of a surprise for me because apparently if your firstborn had jaundice it's very likely that your kids after will all have jaundice so i kind of expected it considering mia was also jaundice when she was born um anyway so yes my second daughter was born august 28 and we named her elena which is a combination of my name and my husband Al's name. She is honestly, I know this is super biased, but she is the cutest baby ever. She is almost three months old and she loves to laugh. She loves to smile and she also loves blowing bubbles with her mouth. This baby journey has been extremely different than Mia because with Mia she she was formula fed the second one I decided to really push through breastfeeding and it's been such a crazy whirlwind and every person that I spoke to that has breastfed or is breastfeeding can completely understand everything let me just finish up my eyes because then if I keep talking this video is gonna be a zillion hours long I honestly forgot what I was saying, but oh yeah, I was talking about breastfeeding. Honestly, I don't even know if I was recording while I put on concealer, which is kind of frustrating, but um, what I was saying, if it got cut off, was that breastfeeding has been quite a ride, and I am still um, in that ride, actually, and I plan on breastfeeding for quite some time. It's just, I feel the most anxious when I'm breastfeeding, unfortunately, and I'm already an, such an anxious person, and so breastfeeding doesn't really help my situation, but, um, like I said, <laughs> while I was doing my concealer, which unfortunately I wasn't recording, was that the best way that I'm able to cope with it is to have a good support system and you know talk to people who are kind of on the same boat as you so I talked to a lot of my girlfriends that gave birth this year as well so they they understand exactly how I'm feeling without me having to ex give them a reason why because unfortunately I wish I could give a reason as to why I feel a certain type of way but I can't and I feel bad especially when my husband's really trying to reach out to me and kind of help me cope and try to understand me but it's I know I understand it's hard because he doesn't know the reason like I, I can't give him a reason why so he's unable to find a solution to help make me feel better but 
you know, that's what it is, right? Is make sure you guys have a good support system, um, whether that be your partner or your friends. But yeah, it's a lot. And I know it's discouraging when shit hits the fan, but we can do this. You can do this. We can all do this. It's possible. Moms are so strong and we don't get enough credit for how much we have to go through and continue to go through. I actually went to um, a workshop with one of my girlfriends recently um, because previous to getting pregnant, I was actually working out and doing CrossFit and this seminar was specific to crossfit and getting back into it after pregnancy and um something really stuck to me during that seminar they mentioned that you know a lot of women they say i just want to be that person before i gave birth and I just want to look how I looked before but the thing that we have to realize is that we're not that same person anymore you kind of have to go through this journey where you have to you have to find yourself again because you do lose yourself after giving birth I don't know I'm speaking this is from my experience and until now I'm still trying to find myself trying to find the routine trying to do more stuff for myself rather you know because I'm giving and giving and giving to my kids, my, my partner, but we forget that we got to think of ourselves too. And that's not just for, you know, moms. That's for anyone. You guys have to do a lot of self-care. But yeah, continuing on with the seminar is like, why would you want to be the same person or that same person? Like, we need to stop wishing to be that, that person we were prior to you know giving birth because we aren't that same person anymore you know what forget about the prs that you had previously and you need to start comparing yourself to your postpartum self not your old self that ties in together with what i was saying earlier with saying with saying that you're you're a different person now another thing that stuck out to me was that a lot of people kind of normalize that postpartum is like only the six weeks after birth and you're kind of like out of it but realistically moms are in postpartum forever like the postpartum stage forever you know you've given you the fact is that you've given birth and you're postpartum and there's no timeline to that there's no end cap to that you're always going to be postpartum I've been trying really hard to get back into working out. I haven't actually gone back to the gym per se, but I've been trying to get in little workouts here and there and it's been hard. It's been a struggle trying to figure out where I can fit a good workout in because I need at least a good hour. I have to fit it into Al's schedule, into Mia's schedule. It's and then of course Elena's schedule and her schedule is never timed it's kind of like how she just feels at that time and al's been crazy busy too he's back in school he's working two part-time jobs and then he's trying to be a husband and father so <laughs> i have to give it to him too he is trying to stay as sane as possible kind of the gist of everything that's happening on happening in my life right now my first time in the three months that I'm going to be going out by myself but it's only for a few hours so I'll survive I guess I haven't felt like cute like this in a long time I love using Urban Decay I don't think I'll ever replace the setting spray this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I don't know maybe you guys got something out of it I was rambling. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, I can post um, once a week at least. I don't even know when I'm going to be able to edit this video. But yeah, bye!